As preparations for the upcoming World T20 intensify, attention is turning to the readiness of the Darren Tammy Cricket Ground for the tournament. Reports indicate that the remedial work on the facilities is nearing its conclusion, with the venue expected to be turned over to the ICC shortly. However, some observers have questioned why a comprehensive renovation of the stadium wasn't undertaken to address the venue's infrastructural challenges. These sentiments were echoed by former Minister for Communications and Works, Guy Joseph, during a recent UWP press conference. Now I have to ask, how much of the $80 million went to the Darren Sami Cricket Ground that it is only remedial work that is being done? Because I would think that $80 million could build a brand new world-class facility. However, Minister for Youth Development and Sports, Kenton Kasime, has indicated that his ministry faced time constraints to execute a full overhaul, pointing to the late announcement by the ICC. Despite the fact that St. Lucia put in the bid early, we were not informed about whether or not St. Lucia was going to host Cricket World Cup until very late in the game. When the decision came, and St. Lucia was selected to host Cricket World Cup. We as a government felt that it was absolutely necessary to do all within our powers to ensure that we indeed host the World Cup and we indeed develop our facilities to ensure proper hosting of World Cup. And so, despite the fact that everything came in late, we had to ensure that we could design and construct and make adjustments to the facilities to meet again the standards of the IOC. Minister Kasime went on to indicate that due to the continuous nature of the work, he is unable to give a finalized financial figure. It was very difficult for us to have gone to square one. We'd have to design and make adjustments. So this is why you would not hear me say that it took $25 million for us to do all those renovations. It's because while because of the time sensitivity of everything that we're doing, we have to ensure that the work continues. And so if you take a look at the Darren Sammy Cricket Grounds, you'll be more than satisfied that we have done a very good job and that we continue to ensure that we are fiscally prudent as we continue to strive towards being the best venue for this competition this year. The work continues as sports facilitators strive to get the island ready for the upcoming tournament. For Choice News Now, I am Quinn Sejus.